and it's Tesla time again. So yesterday we attempted summons using the um, mobile app on the iPhone and it didn't work. Um, it would back up, go like two feet and stop. I don't really understand. People said uh, internet communications can cause that problem. Uh, so basically today we're gonna do it using the key fob. Uh, you press the center button on the key fob uh, till the hazard the hazard lights and everything start flashing. Then you take your finger off the uh, center button and you pass press the front button to go forward or the trunk button to go backwards. And so we're going to see how that works. Uh, we have the same camera set up as we did yesterday. Um, a camera in the car, a camera here looking as it backs out, a camera outside uh, as it backs out. We're going to leave the garage door down. We have the home link enabled so hopefully it will detect that so I think we're pretty much ready to give it a shot doesn't know and this 10 feet rule basically makes it when you try to make the car do there goes the door it's looking promising And it canceled again. So unfortunately, this is day two fail at summits. <laughs> Tuck sat quietly behind the tripod, wondering what the heck his humans were doing. And since we had the car out and all the camera equipment with us, I figured I should get another picture of Dawn standing beside Ruby. We didn't have a lot of luck with Summon again day two. A little disappointing. Maybe it's um, the lip going down out of the garage. You know, we do have a little bit of a bump coming in and out. Not sure. Don suggested while I was out shopping in Fuquay that I go to an empty parking lot and just try summoning the car out of a parking space toward me. So Joey and I are headed to town and we're going to do that. It's one of the things we're going to do while we're out. Wish us luck. So every time I get in the car after Don's driven, I have to adjust the seat belt, which I understand that I have to do that manually. But when I get into the seat, it's still in the Don setting. Now look. Does it not know the difference between my key fob and Don's key fob? Can it not tell it's me getting in and opening up the car and adjust the seat to my settings? Just saying, think that maybe it should be able to do that. So I get in and I click on Don and I change it to me and it readjusts the seat and life is good, but be really nice if as my key fob approached, it just put the seat in my position. Well, Donnie, today's pictures for the video are looking really good. Way cool. Yeah, it's coming along together. I've got everything uploaded, so it won't take me so much time later on tonight. Wow, that's great. Well, it sounds good. Oh, my God. Don's going to do a deep dive on batteries with Jack from EVTV. I right. think it's time to go shopping. Well, i got to have my weekly Jack fix. Well, it's afternoon nap time too but well, I love Jack really I do but honestly if I had the choice between a two-hour deep dive on batteries or going shopping I think I'm gonna take the Tesla and go shopping uh, <laughs> well, you know remember Jack is my mentor he's you know like my brother from another mother yeah I have a feeling there's gonna be a Tesla road trip to see Jack in 
Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Yeah, I mean, where else would you go on your vacation but to see Jack, right? That's I right. mean, seriously. That's right. That's All right. Happen. Well, I'll be back later to sit beside you and work on my video. But until then, this girl's going shopping. <laughs> I didn't have any luck with the key fob in moving the car at all. I'm going to try the Tesla phone app now. I have it set to move 20 feet. Pressing and holding the forward button. Making sure there's nobody coming. car is coming completely out of the space. I'd say that's 20 feet. <laughs> Parked right into the space in front of it. That's it. So I would say that's a success. Now, the app says it's ready. I'm gonna wait to see where this one car goes. I don't wanna to have to cancel summons in the middle. Okay, that car's not coming near us. I'm gonna send her back. I'm pressing and holding reverse. And the car is now backing up. Stay here, Johnny. Okay, so she came forward a little more than she went back. I'm not sure why. I would have preferred that she put herself into the spot. Let's try, uh, I'm gonna hit reverse again and send the car backward again. Okay, so again, not quite as far back, but at least she's moving forward and backward out here in the parking lot. Where else would a 12-year-old want to look at Walmart? But of course, at the Pokemon stuff. Anything good today, Johnny? What car are you looking for, Johnny? Jackson Storm. Jackson Storm. This Lewis Hamilton guy looks pretty cool. He's from, he's not from this one though. He's from a different one. Uh-huh, okay. So he's already from the last movie, not Cars 3. Not
Wow, look what I found. Think that belongs at our house? I'm thinking. So this week we drove a total of 329.9 miles and we used, according to the car, 130.1 kilowatts. So that averaged out 394 watts per mile, which is a slight increase over last week's 387 watts per mile. At a cost of 7 cents per mile, that works out to 2.76 cents per mile. but if you actually look at what we paid uh, on our power meter, uh, we used 198 kilowatts, which is a whopping 600 watts per mile at a cost of 4.2 cents per mile. Uh, the d difference between those two numbers, the 198 uh, kilowatts and the 130 kilowatts the car measured, uh, meant our charging efficiency is 65.71. Now, all the charging this week was done at home. The very first week we got the car, which the charging efficiency was 76.23. However, at the time, uh, Tesla uh, service had charged the car some, so some of those miles uh, were not actually from our charger at home. But this week, uh, after the supercharger last week, this week was the first week that all charging was done at our home. So the true cost this week of the electricity used by the Tesla was $13.86. Gas prices are down in our area and it's actually below $2 a gallon now. So if we took the equivalent of the 329 miles that we drove this week in a ICE car, that would be $26.26. .26. So the difference between the $26.26 and the $13.86 is $12.40 operational savings this week for owning a Tesla.